What's up, Scuba Squad? I'm about to come at y'all with a fish room tour of the house. Stay tuned. I'm gonna do a little update tour on the on my tanks. Let's see, we got that 75 right here. I recently mixed in the hybrids with the Africans. She been really bullying him a whole lot. Well, she's digging it up. I just cleaned it. Did it a like, nice little rescape. I like. And then we got the salt water over here. Don't look the best. I'm still learning. This coral looks good. These three right here aren't doing so hot. The alien eye candy cane. That's all I know. Need a more cleanup crew. Probably need some more. I need to install my refugium light. And clean that skimmer out a little bit. And get that tuned in. But I'm still learning. Okay, we got Sleepy Kitty. And then we got Miss Jeffrey. The Axolotl. She can use a nice glass wipe down. You gotta clean up them little poop poops. They got big poop poops. And she's got her little cave and I got her little chiller. Shout out Pamplin and Foxy. And she's just in there hanging out right now. Got her nice little plants going. It actually looks nice. This big old plant is just huge. It's like huge. So there's Miss Jeffrey. She's hiding from y'all right now. Come on, baby. Come on out. Hmm. So them, them's the three tanks I have downstairs. So I'll take you upstairs real quick and give you a rundown. She's getting big too. Let me use my hand. She's pretty big. All right, so when you first walk in, you're greeted by my Neo Caradina tank, which is currently getting ran by scuds and snails. Ugh. But you can look close. I do have some shrimp in here. You just got to find them. You just got to find them. Which sounds bad. Oh, look, there's one right there. See him? There's another one. See? I'm not lying. There are a couple in here. But I've just been dealing with all this freaking crap. You see? So I got this little tube. I just siphon out as much as I can each day. See, there's a little fella. Okay, okay. Got a couple mystery snails in there. But there's my Neo Caradina tank. So then we'll swing around over here. So this is Fred the Beta's tank. This is actually my escape I did at the Keystone class. This is how it turned out. Yeah, it's crowded. But for those of you that know, we was about to witness a snail murder on cam. Let me turn the camera for you. Sorry. No snails. No pest snails allowed. So we got some red root floaters that Grant gave me at the clash. That's my buddy right there. He's a cool dude. But yeah. Here's how it came out, so not too bad, actually. It's growing on me. When I first got it home and set it back up, I was like, oh, 
I didn't really like it. But it's growing on me. All my Monte Carlo dad off. Got some Anubias floating around, ready to be planted with the Monte Carlo. I'll probably buy some Anubias and glue it all. Where all that dead Monte Carlo's hanging out at. But he seems to enjoy it. Then I got a bristle nose pleco trio I had in here, but I lost two on the way home from the clash. So now we just have one um, pleco of some sort that I got from Crypt Keeper Tim. Yeah, I really like that tank. It's not too shabby, huh? I'm coming for you next year at the Keystone Clash Scape Off, so now I know to glue my wood to stones or don't use wood. I'm coming for y'all. I'm coming for y'all. I'm coming for y'all. Alright, we'll swing over here. Let me get this about the way. This is my Caradina tank, which is really doing pretty good. My plants aren't doing that well, but the shrimp are breeding pretty well. Come on, focus in, man. See, I got some blue steel, some yellow King Kongs, some, is that a baby Stardust, or? Mm, can't really tell, he's so teeny. Then I got some Stardust shrimp in here, the yellow King Kongs. Then I recently picked up some orange eye blue tigers. See, there's more babies. A whole bunch of baby blue steels all over the place. They're just really taking off, which is awesome. I love that shrimp. Pretty badass shrimp, if you ask me. It looks pretty cool. Then I got these weird looking ones. I guess they bred with the orange eye blue tigers, blue with the blue steels or whatever or something. And then got these shrimp with the white stripes on the back. Which I believe they're Thai B or something, or some kind of strain. Not exactly 100% sure, but there go a few of them. Mm, look at them blue steels, look nice. But then there's my little skate for that. Plants aren't doing so hot. I recently just added this Zoomed light on here. Hopefully, that'll help with the plants maybe i need to do water changes more but who am i kidding right and then we'll swing over here last but not least this tank has probably been the longest up and running tank i've had but this tank has just took over with whatever kind of ferns i just got floating around anubias um just Whatever this thing is, I just bought some bulb type plants from Aquarium Co op. And then they just been taking over ever since. Sorry, I got distracted for a second. But here's my little skate for this one. I call this my jungle. I'll just take plants and just throw them in there and see if they grow. Well, my light recently halfway went out. So I don't know what's up with these weak old dookie lights. Trash. I just bought this thing like a couple months ago. Because the other one went out. But this tank's got some uh, little dwarf rainbow. Some uh Lamp eye, red eye tetras. And I got two single little black neon, black tetras, whatever you want to call them. And I got Mojo, the dojo loach. He's a big boy. And then we got two bristle nose in here. We got an albino. And then we got a super red somewhere. Um, I'm having a hard time finding him right now. 
All right, buddy, come on out wherever you are. Oh, yeah, and then we got the coolie loaches. Can't forget about the coolies. And you can see the little stripe of the coolie right there. Oh, look, there's his little head. Where'd it go? There's their little heads, two of them. Still can't find that super rib pleco. He just likes to hang out on that. Just leave that fern floating around. I like the look of it. It's pretty neat. Just to watch it float around. Um, I'm having trouble finding him. I'll be back when I can All find right, him. Alright, I found him. See, I'm not lying. And there's his little buddy. But there it is. Last but not least, the jungle tank. I got these four tanks in my room. The jungle tank, I'll call it. The Neo Caradina. Fred's Aquascape. And the Caradina tank. So thanks for watching. Any tips or comments? Any feedback is much appreciated. Let me know what y'all think about my little tanks I got here at the house. And then I'll post uh, my buddy's tank and after all these. I'll let y'all see what he's working with. What we did for him. But yep. Shout yourself out if you see your sticker. If you see your sticker, shout yourself out. But anyway, Scuba Squad, with that being said, thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all love the tanks. More to come. Love y'all. Peace. Like and subscribe for me. Scuba Squad out.